Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com once again. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to determine the proper size wire for your amplifiers and maybe speakers too. All right, so we get asked this a lot and where it may seem very common sense, it must not be so common and I'm gonna try to explain it. But to break it down in the simplest form, when you have an amplifier, you're gonna have power and grounds on it, or a power and ground or power and grounds with an S. This is our JP63, it has triple power and grounds. So, and these are zero gauge inputs. When you have zero gauge inputs on an amplifier, that should be a very clear indication that you should be using, which size wire? Zero gauge wire, yes. Don't, you'd be surprised how many people try to put like a four gauge or an eight gauge or something crazy in here just to get the amp to work but you're asking for it to fail you're asking to blow up an amp if you're doing that so uh, and some people will even overdo it and they'll run uh, like dual amp input so they'll turn the six into 12 so uh, yeah if you want to overdo it that's the way but at minimum you should be using what size is here and all of them we have also had people ask, can I just use one of these to hook up the amp? No, if it has three, you need to use all three. Don't use two, don't use one, use all three. And with a very powerful amplifier, you have different types of uh, wire as well. You're gonna have OFC wire, which is gonna be oxygen-free copper, 100% OFC. This is gonna be your best wire. And then uh, this obviously having more copper is gonna be a, a higher price. If you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, we have the uh, CCA, what we call it, uh, it's copper clad aluminum. It's 90% aluminum and 10% copper. So this is gonna be a more budget line of wire. I would not recommend, I mean, some people use this wire in big builds as well and they swear that it doesn't make a difference or like they don't mind it, whatever. But me personally, if I'm spending that much money on amplifiers and stuff, I'm, I want to have the best stuff in there. So I'm running OFC in mine. But I would say if you're running like a 2000 watt amp, maybe a 3000 watt amp that you could possibly get by with the CCA wire. But that's kind of where I would cap it at. Anything above that, I would be going OFC personally. Um, same thing with speaker wire. If you're not running a lot of um, power through it, like you're running some tweeters or some door speakers or something like that, you can get by with 16 gauge, 14 gauge, 12 gauge or something, um, and CCA or OFC. But if you're running subwoofers, you're gonna be wanting to run at least eight gauge uh, going to, especially if it's bigger subwoofers, uh, I don't know, anything with the, thousand watt or above rating you're going to want to make sure you're running at least eight gauge but on my subwoofers in my tahoe i have four gauge wire running to them and that's why on <clears throat> this amplifier this is another clear indication right here you see these inputs right here sorry speaker outputs <laughs> uh, this is where you hook the speaker wires up to go to subwoofers this is a four gauge input and that's what you should use to go to your subwoofer again if you're powering if you're using this much power you should be using proper size of wire going to your subs so uh, four gauge on these you'll have uh, smaller amps with uh, smaller inputs here whether it's eight gauge or 12 gauge whatever it might be just pay attention to what size these are and make sure that it fits accurately you don't want to be going too small so anyway that's going to be the answer on this on how to determine what size wire you use is is that's how clear it is <laughs> that's what you should use that's how clear it is so uh, every amplifier is different for instance on the jp23 we have single power and grounds and then you can see right here is eight gauge going into the power coming out of here so that's a difference, JP23, JP63, going up three times the size of that amplifier, you're gonna have three power and grounds, and you're having four gauge um, wire or termination going to your subwoofer. So anyway, little example there. All right, appreciate you joining me. If you need anything, hit us up at downforsoundshop.com, the home of the Downforce Sound difference, guaranteed lowest prices, fastest shipping, best customer service, and we have a ton of different financing options on the website, so be sure to check that out. See you in the next one, later.
what's happening guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on youtube facebook tiktok instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat i'm jpd4s on there so be sure to check me out there we'll see you in the next one later